you to the Morris County Advisory Committee of Women and the Morris County Board of County Commissioners. I'm sorry, my back to you. Um, for selecting me as your Seeds of Change Award recipient this year. I understand that this, this award recognizes someone who inspires others. The word inspire comes from a Greek word meaning to blow through. I have been so blessed to have been lifted up by the inspiration that blows through Impact 100 Garden State, which is not a gentle breeze, but a gale force <laughs> wind. I know that this award is given to an individual, and I will take some credit for stepping forward, accepting the responsibilities that come with being president, leading our team to fulfill its mission while still really liking each other, and okay, I don't stink at it. However, I would not be standing here in front of you if not for the work of countless women who are fellow leaders and members of Impact 100 Garden State. Many of them who have served right along with me are here tonight, and I can never thank them enough for always having my back and going above and beyond what is expected of them on a pretty regular and amazing basis. You heard about all the organizations that we have provided $100,000 grants to, so I won't list them again. Um, with our $100,000 impact grants, these organizations have been able to provide shelter for the homeless, literacy for young children, wider distribution of food for families and communities, and mentoring, tutoring, and service learning opportunities for teens at risk. And best of all, the, the programs that have been funded by Impact 100 Garden State have been sustained and continue to provide support to Morris County. I accept this award on behalf of all the women members of Impact 100 Garden State. It celebrates and validates the work that has been pla taking place for 12 years and that will continue to benefit the residents of Morris County for many years to come. It would take me a considerable amount of time to explain just how Impact 100 works, but I would be happy to answer any questions for those of you who would be interested, who would want to become a member. I admit that it is challenging to manage an all-volunteer nonprofit, but when volunteers step up, not because of what benefits them, but because of what benefits others, then a burden becomes a blessing. What we do as a team of volunteers is simply incredible, but no surprise, we're women. <laughs> I do want to thank my family. My husband, Bill, never begrudges the hours glued to my laptop, the rushing out to meetings and the numerous phone calls. I also want to thank my son, Walt, who is here tonight, and my daughter, Grace, who could not be here, but is an Impact 100 member. I love you guys. I would like to end on a note of hope with words spoken by Gandalf the Wizard from the <laughs> Lord of the Rings, some former English teacher, so I'm allowed to read this. Some believe it is only great power that can hold evil in check, but that is not what I have found. It is the small, everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keeps the darkness at bay. Small acts of kindness and love. Together, I hope we can continue to be inspired by ordinary folk like us who do what we can with small acts of kindness and love. Again, I am so grateful to the council and commissioners for this extraordinary award. Thank you so much.